one year ago, we had no idea what the future of this band held. We were on the brink of self-destruction. And for the first time in my life, I had doubts like, are we gonna be able to do this, man? It's like, fucking hard. <laughs> There's Panini here. I get down on my knees right now. No! No! But also, we were sitting we on the beach at four in the morning. Here we go. That's the best. There's another one of you eating. That's legit. So there's still places that are still being out. Nice. What? Yeah, I have it. You have it? What's going on? I can't find it. But now I'm just worried about my slut, dude. He's lost. A guy named Henry lost it. I'm gonna look like an insane person on this video. You took it. You fucking took it. <laughs> oh, That's Henry, dude. I fucking flipped on my mattress. <laughs> I look at Henry. This guy's a thief, bro. He steals hearts oh, and slugs. <laughs> okay. We're going to explore the island of Guam, baby. Island mode, dude. Got some shade. No way. No way. Largest amount of ammunition in America. And don't walk off the path because we might blow up, just so you know. Some of the trees that have these crazy roots come left over there. I mean, that's why. Hey, coconut crab. Come on, buddy. Thank you. Dude, it's a lobster. I found it. I think it's on a military base. I really think I look exclusive stuff by hand in like a uniform or something. Bunch of guys who's away from their girlfriends going to see the sunset together. That's nice. <laughs> there was no vegetables that the restaurant went to today because they're like, yeah, the supply line's down. But what else can I get you? I think we're gonna walk away going like this. This this base had like a lot of heart. It kind of set in like what people were going through and what people went through for all of this. How important morale actually is. Coming out of two two and a half heart years of no shows, um, thought that we were just gonna be able to bounce back as soon as everything opened up and came back to normal. Uh, turns out we ended up taking like three or four or five steps back and had to put in all that effort just to catch up to where we were in 2019. And a year later, we're sitting here in Guam playing for fans so as far away from home as you can get who actually knew the band and were with all the boys. That's the crazy thing too, is we're all from fucking Windsor, Ontario. Dude. This coffee fucking slapped. Hey Matt, do you miss your girlfriend? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably say my highlight, and it's not probably something to be like proud of, but was probably farting in front of Judy twice, despite Joe telling me not to. He was definitely Troy. You can always Troy. Yeah. He's literally right here, he goes, lifts his leg, he looks at me, just goes, louder! It was a move of defiance, but I think it needed to be done to set a precedent and to establish dominance. We're going off to, uh, to Japan now. So I've got to say, I was really touched by the people in Guam. A lot of people didn't have internet or electricity, so just the fact that we got to go and play for those people meant a lot. But I'm looking forward to Japan too. Yeah. Yeah. Just gotta try some authentic ramen. You guys liking everything? What you got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plates. Okay. <laughs> Here comes four things. Oh, go, go, go. Okay, right there. Hold on. Look at this stop. Veggie bits tempura. Here's another one that's pronounced it. Just so everyone is aware. Really? Yeah. I, I'm tall here. I'm actually so pumped about this thing. Come on. Not only are we in Japan, not only are we playing at a military game, not only are we playing at a pool party, it's a big stage for us. Apparently this is like the best production crew in Japan, at least. Uh, they'll be with us for uh, all our shows in Japan, and they are amazing. Shout out Yoshi and the team. Dude, that goes faster than my Honda Civic. Blind bags. I kind of have a knack for feeling <laughs> who's in the bag. God bless you, Henry. He wants Krillin. What is it? I think it's that. Can't open it. That's embarrassing. Oh, we're gonna film the whole thing. Then yeah, use your teeth. Come on, grow up. There you go. There you go. It won't hurt your dentures. 
veneers. Your veneers? This guy, oh my God, I can't believe this guy right now. Dad, take care of it. There you go, there you go. Let's go! I feel really good actually. It sounds good. It sounds so much better outside. It sounds really good at front of house. Boys are in good spirits. Boys are as smooth as butter. Our backup plan in case our computer crashes is not working, which is fine but nerve wracking because if the main plan craps out, we're screwed. Always happens right before you head on stage. Absolutely. From Detroit, Michigan, the Auto Last night was fun. We found a karaoke bar, like a random karaoke bar. And I got to live out my MCR Green Day kill some time before the uh, the next stop. Okay, so we just uh, stopped at a local yeah. mall. Found the toy store. Okinawa finger whistle. I don't know what it is, but I gotta attempt. I'm trying to figure it out. I gotta use Google Translate. Hold up. That's literally my mouth. Yep. No. It's, it's, fucking awesome. Awesome. it's fucking amazing. You're getting there. Not bad. Good afternoon, everybody. It is Wednesday, June 28th. And with me in the studio this hour, I have Jake and Joe from Autumn Kings. We used to work in a grocery store together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got in a, a break room one day at lunch, just small talking. Hey, we should jam and start a band sometime. <laughs> we got like to it, and uh, the rest is history. Which... I'll listen to a bit more. Uh, also, uh, Lincoln Park. Yes. yes, sir. Fall Out Boy. Yeah, yeah. oh man. Dude. Did you look up our bio? <laughs> not yet. Dude, our bio is literally if Linkin Park and Fall Out Boy had a baby. That's literally our bio. Just had our first radio inter interview at AFN. The lovely James, thank you man. That was a pleasure, dude. All right, here we are at the Toya Center, getting ready to hit the stage for the military. It's our second show in Japan. And I'm kind of sad because it's coming to an end, but it's going to be a good one. We've got a great venue, great team. Let's hit the stage. Mic check, mic check. One, two, one, two. One, two. Super, super clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The stage, <laughs> dude, that's a good stage. Like, if there's a pocket out there, we were in. I don't care what crowd it is, I will get them standing up and I will get them moving. I don't care who it is. We killed it, we rocked it, Troy killed it, you killed it, Keith killed it, team killed it. Oh, crazy. Oh, crazy. What's up, big guy? Yeah, we got the camera. Yeah, it's alright. Right. 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 You, right. you know our lyrics. You gotta get the whole camera. You know our lyrics. What's the name? Kenzie. Kenzie was singing DJ. It's not like anyone had ears in or anything. Yeah, I know. It's not like I could hear every single thing that's happening. Yeah. 
Hey Ian, did you ask for that Gatorade on your ears? On the ears? Yeah. I didn't hear it the first time. Sweet. I don't know why, but...